Hello everybody, this is Karamazo018, and this is going to be my thoughts on Naruto episode 21. Uh, I've currently got it uploading as we speak, and it's probably almost done by now. Actually, let me check that real quick. Yeah, it's about done. It's on 99, uh, 100%. It's done. I just gotta wait for it to process. Anyway, uh... This essentially is showing off... Uh, how the kids have grown since they left the academy. Because... Uh, Iruka didn't think that his students, you know, the Gending that passed in, uh, the beginning of the show to become ninja, he didn't think they were ready for the tuning exams. And I don't really blame him. I mean, they just graduated not long ago. I don't know how long it was, actually. But, yeah, the senseis know the students because they're the ones training them now so i think that they would know best possibly if you know they're ready for the tuning exams but they decided to humor erica and let him test the students and see if they're ready but we only got to see them test team seven which is naruto sasuke and sakura we didn't get to see him test the others but anyway uh he ended up testing Sakura's ability to see through genjutsus, which are essentially illusions that are mental. You know, it, or rather just illusions in general. And she was actually able to see right through the illusion, especially because she knows how Sasuke acts around her. And he wasn't acting like he usually does. Though then again, him telling her to not be in the training exams was actually, I guess, kind of in character for him. Because she is... The weakest out of the group. At least currently. She'll get much stronger as the show goes on. At least once a certain character starts popping up in the show. And then she starts training with her. And yeah. She'll get stronger. Don't worry. Anyway. uh, Yeah. It she it, said, it tested her knowledge on not only her teammate. But also the whether she can see through genjutsus or not. Which is probably a good idea. Considering... You never know if you're going to encounter those in the training exams. And she obviously saw right through it. And the illusion of Sasuke, which it wasn't actually Sasuke, it was, an, it was a fake. And, well, it tested... I don't know how it tested Sasuke. All we know is that we saw him beating up the guy and telling him to get out of the village. Like I said, it was Iruka in disguise, but yeah, they didn't know that. And it tested uh, whether Naruto would be able to uh, I don't know what her name was, the little girl that was with uh, Konohamaru and them. Uh, she got kidnapped by Iruka, or the bad guy I should say because it's Iruka. And left with her and was trying to essentially use her like a hostage and to get the to get the ceiling scroll, but Naruto outsmarted him, used not only a replacement jutsu, but used a shadow clone jutsu to beat the guy up. So yeah, he tested them in apparently unique ways. I still don't know what he did for Sasuke, but he apparently tested them all and figured that they were all ready for the tuning exams, whether he liked it or not. Anyway... Uh, they train, I guess, for the week that they have until the tuning exams, because I think it's like a week. I think. I don't remember what they said, but it, there's a certain period of time before the tuning exams were supposed to start. I guess they have that point to train, or get ready or whatever. And then they go to the building that they're supposed to. And already, we could tell there was a genjutsu, because apparently they only went up one flight of stairs before they got to the floor that everybody was gathered on, even though they were supposed to meet up on ro at room 301, which is on the third floor. And Sakura saw it through the genjutsu, obviously. And we get to see uh, the team of Lee, Neji, and Tenten. I think it's her name. Uh, and Lee... Surprises everybody, but not me, by asking Sakura to be his girlfriend. Which I think would be cute. I think they would be a cute couple, because cause Lee is one of those guys who would treat you like a queen, I think. 
Yes, he would be still be obsessed with trading, but he would treat when he's around you, he would treat you like a queen, I think. I think he's one of those guys. And he will defend you and your honor no matter how small the issue. He's one of those guys that is a nice guy. He's essentially kind of like Travis in a way. Though Travis ain't near as crazy as Lee is when it comes to training. Oh, and Travis, if you're watching this, I love you. Which I doubt he's actually watching it, but still. Anyway, yeah, Sakura immediately rejects him. I think she says I think it's because she says he's weird, which he's not. He's kind of strange looking. I will give him that. I mean, the hair, the eyebrows, but it doesn't shouldn't matter what he looks like. Because, essentially, a hot guy could end up, be, nine times out of ten, could be a jerk. While the not-so-good-looking guy could be a really sweet guy. So don't always go for looks. Always go for the personality. And if they're good-looking as well, that's a bonus. At least that's how I see it, anyway. I always go for personality. That's why I'm with Travis, because I always, I went for the personality, obviously. And he can be good-looking, if he proves <laughs> that beard of his. And make sure that his hair and clothes look okay. Then yes, he can be really good looking. Anyway, uh, let's see. Anything else? Yeah, so, uh, Lee gets rejected and just mopes into the side. Wow. Uh. Yeah, while the others head up to the floor that they're supposed to go to. And that's about all that's happened. That happens in this episode, anyway. Anyway, that's about all I have to say. I usually just give a recap of what happened in the episode, plus adding my thoughts in it with it as well. Anyway, that's all I have to say. And I will see everybody next time.